These blueberry and buttermilk scones are delicious as part of your afternoon tea at home, but why not indulge yourself on a Saturday morning, especially when you've got some chocolate honeycomb butter on top? So the first thing we need to do is we need to rub in our butter into our plain flour to resemble fine breadcrumbs. And this is gonna ensure that we get lovely crumbly buttermilk scones. Sandy, almost ground almond texture, and that's what we're looking for. Some caster sugar that we're gonna add in. We then wanna add three teaspoons of baking powder. And what happens is when the buttermilk and the baking powder collide in the oven, it means they rise up beautifully and you get a lovely fluffy texture. And that's what we want. So I've got my buttermilk going in here. Then we've got some blueberries going in. We're gonna to start to bring this all together and we're gonna form a little dough that we're then gonna knead very gently on the worktop. We don't wanna to add too much pressure here. We don't wanna overwork it because we want them to be lovely and soft, lovely and crumbly. And the more we work them, the more the gluten comes out and they become tough. See, we've got those lovely blueberries in there. If you wanted to add other fruits, of course you could. Raspberries work really nicely in this. Got a little bit of milk. That I'm just gonna brush the tops with. It's gonna make them nice and golden brown on the top. Then we've got some demerara sugar. And then they go into the preheated oven of 180 degrees C for 12 to 14 minutes. Whilst in the meantime, I'm gonna make my chocolate honeycomb butter. So I've got some soft butter Nice and shiny, and that's what we're gonna add our chocolate honeycomb in, into. And then one of my favorite guilty pleasure chocolate bars, chocolate honeycomb. We're just gonna chop this up, and what happens is, because you've got the little bits of chocolate in there, when the butter hits the hot blueberry scone, the chocolate melts, the honeycomb stays, the butter melts, and you're left with something utterly delicious. You've got the little chunks of chocolate in there, you've got the chunks of honeycomb in there. You've got a little bit of salt, which is just gonna make it delicious. So our blueberry scones have had 14 minutes in the oven. And look at those. All of the blueberries have started to split out a little bit. Oh, it looks lovely. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slice this. See, so you've got that lovely blueberry going on in there. And then what we can do is pop a little bit of our honeycomb butter. All that lovely chocolate will come out, all the lovely honeycomb. You can even start to see it starting to come out. And to me, that's a perfect Saturday morning breakfast or a very indulgent afternoon tea at home.